following is a non-profit fan-based project. Metroid is copyright Nintendo and Nintendo EAD. Metroid Prime is also copyright Retro Studios. Please support the official release. Hello everyone, this is the Fifth Eye Gamer. We're back at Torvis Bog and things are getting quite interesting here. Wait, what is that? Hydlings. Morphology, Hydling, a clock miniature herd animal. Targets travel in large swarms. Contact with targets can cause minor damage. Hydlings are small water dwarves. They travel in packs for safety, run the water in search of bits and food. Their only defense is a bite, though their small teeth are sharp enough to pierce metal. Huh. Structural analysis complete. Bridge currently not receiving power. Scan control post nearby to energize the bridge. What is this? Security gates connected to moving bridge operation activate gate to open the bridge. Scan target local interference blocking scan by observing recommend scanning object from close range to counter the interference. I'm guessing they by close range they mean much further away than I mean much closer than I can actually get at. Okay, guess that means we're going through the water. Scan complete. This is a common strain of venom weed. Poisonous plant and tries to live around. Threatened, threatened, thrives in any warm environment. And the missile expansion's up there. Sadly, we can't jump worth the darn in this water, so we're gonna have to just let it go. Anyone who makes one of those jokes is going to get ignored without exception. Now we just need to find a way on Ah, hydlings from right away. Step roll beneath them. Down we go. And there's our destination. Thank you! Here we go. More hydlings. Had to be careful not to get nailed by them. And up we go. And there. Object scan complete. Analysis indicates survival attachment for the grapple beam. Grapple that beam module missing. Uh. And another lower projector I cannot use. I think those are more shredders. Oh, my mistake. Flying plant predator. Bursts from the earth and takes flight. Parasonic blasts, carrying stealth field that disrupts most visors. Well, this finishes all the flying. A cousin in the shredder, the shrieker waits, waits for prey half buried in the earth. When it protects the target, the erupts from the ground and takes flight. It releases a sonic blast to stun its target that sweeps, sweeps into feast. Shriekers can generate a stealth field that is rough most fighters or is making it difficult to attack. Well, that takes care of three of them. Now we just need to find a way onward. And it doesn't look like it's through there. Up here, perhaps? Definitely see a missile door. Let's head boat. Oh, another one of those. <coughs> yeah, I need to update my translator cloud. Ah, 
not great. It's another super missile door. Freaking swell. Going through. And this way. Oh, that's fascinating. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get in that chamber for a while. <sighs> and this room again. Bridge system online, raising your increase that position. Control override in effect. Bridge lockdown will throw into a Well, we now have a way onward. <clears throat> Better wipe out the light beam. We're out of here. What's up with this place? Wait, what kind of track is that? Why am I mistaken? Oh no, get away from me! Well, that could have been a lot worse. Oh, this is, it's not more fall trap. That may be way too small. Well, moving on. Open sesame. Something's not right. Oh, what's that sound? <coughs> oh. Hello! Say hello to the creatures that develop overrun. These are the Grunchers, water based for killing predator. Well armored and deadly at any range. That's about actually one of those explosive blasts, however. The amphibious Grunchler lurks in marsh areas in search of prey. Fearless, it'll spring from hiding and attack. Wait, what? Whoops. Attack anything that moves. If it is unable to spell its prey with these powerful jaws, it'll fire a point versus energy. Grunchlers have one weak spot. The neck defect makes a shell on their back, susceptible to explosive blasts. Move the shell to expose vulnerable nerves there, and then target the to eliminate the creature. Okay. Okay, I guess it's looking for No! Got really ugly. Wait, what's that? No, this is a French floor. Oh, final plant form. Float sack, gas drawing plant form. Target creates beneficial gases. Poisonous sap keeps you from eating mouse creatures. The humble bloat sack contributes slowly to ecology by producing large amounts of benevolent but gases. It thrives in damp environments. Thrives in damp environments, though it can survive in most climates and terrains. 
The bloat sack secretes a venomous sap over its body. Very few creatures can adjust the sap to survive, making a very useful defense mechanism for the plan. Well then. At least I know nothing's gonna be tromping on that. Wait, something's up. So what's up with this place? Another one of those, huh? So it's up the bridge. Structural analysis complete. Power, power bridge is online, yet its control system is missing from area. I'm able to move bridge to new position. Ah, uh, yeah, the bomb slot we found. What are those? Ah, uh, sentinel crystals. Used to monitor key sites. Used by little soldiers to observe tactical areas during the war. Most are still broadcasting units. During the war, the Little Mouth used the Sentinel Crystals to monitor key areas and installations. They are incredibly durable, resisting all but the most powerful of Aang attacks. You must still use the remaining Sentinel Crystals to keep a watch for Aang activity. Well, now you know how he's able to figure out what's going on here. Let's get a move on. Through the portal. So, what's different about this place? Okay, there's a bridge. Structural analysis complete. Use the movie bridge is keep the scene commands means power. Airtime's nearby bomb slots will activate the bridge. Wait, what's the what are those? Wait. What are these things? Ah, oh, we just finished utility crystals already. Dark Sentinel Crystal? Monitor, monitor system used, designed for use on Dark Ether. Used by Luminoth soldiers monitor critical areas throughout Dark Ether. If you remain, those that do broadcast data, you must as it's Ether. The original Sentinel Crystals were durable, but they had their limits. The toxic nature of Dark Ether, coupled with constant attacks of the Ing, destroyed many of them. The Luminoth was found with the Dark Sentinel Crystal. She's in dark energy, is more resistant to the atmosphere of the Ing homeworld, and the attacks of its denizens. So, what's up with this jewel, huh? Okay. What's that? Ink Sphere Cache. Living storage units of the Ink Horde. The Ink Sphere keeps useful items in a dimensional pocket. Pocket can be reached by destroying the Ink Sphere. The Ink Sphere keeps useful items in a dimensional pocket. Normally, the Ink Sphere will only release the item to its Ink Masters. Pocket can be reached by destroying the Ink Sphere, however. Sometimes destroy the item because you are at the risk. Huh. Who thought? Oh, another one of those. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. Let's get this over with. And up. He comes down and the bridge is rotated to a new position. And it looks like something happened in the ether as well. Well, looks like we got something down there. I should just wait here and... Wait, is that a yellow door? Ah, power bombs. Not fun. Well, I see my way back. Might as well take it. And in we go. Now we're back. So what's going on here? I get to guys put boating away. Yep, knew it. Dark Pirate Commandos. Darkling possess elite space pirates. Increased combat ability to send the odd present to phase all over time and space. The Aang prized the few power commandos they managed to take alive. Only Hunter and are allowed to possess the commandos, and the competition for the right is fierce among them. The Hunter Aang ability phase out local time space carries over to the Dark Power Commando. The fire bursts as Dark Mirrored enemies launch experiments at the empty grenades stolen from the space pirates. Well, 
worse than that one. Takes care of that. Well, that's that one thing down. Now I just need to get back up. Thankfully, that solution's already been provided. And I can't go any higher. Well, now the bridge is in position. We don't need to move it again. So, let's take that missile expansion and get out of here. By the way, the missile expansion was literally in your path because of what's coming up. You remember those super missiles from the previous game? Yeah, they're back. I get the feeling we're gonna need to do something crazy for that. What is that thing? A spore. Lurking carnivorous plant. Fires poison needles and valves and grabs small objects in its jaws. The hanging sporb sits patiently until a potential meal is detected. It bursts the poison meals from the sporb as the primary means of attack. It also extends fire from short distances, prepping the small targets with powerful jaws. Okay, now you just need to find a way to get through here. Oh, wait. That was already provided. Man, it feels dumb. So if I drop down here... Yeah, it was just that simple. Structural analysis complete, bridge composed, a number of unknown allies. Despite evidence, evidence of numerous assaults, the bridge remains intact. By convention terms, this structure is indestructible. And this thing is... Denzio. Huh. What's that? Power restored to connect orb can. You get locked and turn front position off by turning all fire feature in. Well, that's my way up. Good to know. As long as I don't disturb them. Ah, more Denzium. the way through. Ah, more Illuminoth warrior set. Wait, what's that? Structural analysis complete. Taloric alloy, huh? Know what that means. There we go. Energy tank. I knew I could, we could use one of these. All oh, right, super missile door. Can't go that way yet. So with that out of our hair, let's continue. Launch. Ow. Could have been worse. 
this could have ended better. I'm not goofing around. Hey, what? Dark door! Ah, right. Another security system source. In we go, and... Oh, great! Space pirates! That's that. Huh. What the heck was all that about? Might as well see about restocking. about hell it's about time oh yeah that's what I'm talking about yeah we're gonna be kicking a lot of butt with that <coughs> the thing uses five missiles as you already know so yeah So, let's go. This should take us up to this door. And there's our way in. Well, now we have our way in, so let's take care of business. This rotates the unit around, so we can actually enter the temple. I haven't seen much in terms of Luminous Statuary. Oh wait, what's that? This statue of Beasties, the great hero of Torbus. Beasties led the charge in the fourth battle of Torbus, single-handedly killing the Inghorde war chief in battle. Wow. He died of old age within the temple he helped defend. So, guess there's no such thing as immortality here. What's up with this one? Battle scan complete. Subject Luminoth has been dead for 1.2 deca cycles. In addition to heavy combat damage, subject shows the size of numerous ink possession attempts all failed. Resisting these assaults will require incredible stamina and psychic durability. That is a thing. Luminoth Hall Projector Online, all made message initiated. So that must be the man himself. The great warrior comes to the Temple of Taurus. May you succeed where I fail. I am Avon, the last sentinel of this temple. In my words, carefully. As you can see, the temple has been crippled by the ravages of war. While the main chamber has been mostly preserved, the remainder of the temple has been flooded. You must use your abilities to venture into these flooded areas and find the keys you need to enter the dark of the The waters of dark ether are foul and venomous. Avoid them if you can. Well, yeah. Kind of suspected as much. 
I've updated your translator module. You can access devices and doors code with emerald holograms. Search the area is now open to you. All right. <laughs> the aim will seek your light with great zeal. Do not underestimate them. Oh, I won't. The time for talk is over. Good hunting. May the light of ether guide your aim. Thank you! Now that we're fully juiced up, let's get the down to business. <coughs> hey? The world warped. Amidst this turmoil, we discovered many disturbing anomalies. Spatial disturbances appeared across the land. Objects went into a state of dimensional flux. The atoms divide between ether and somewhere else. There was little time to ponder these strange happenings, for we had to deal with the devastation of our lands. Okay. Moving on. Now that we got what we came for, we can leave. There we are. So, what's up with this joint? Elvira system energized. The path below these hollow grounds is yours to follow. Well, down we go. <clears throat> oh, another one of these. Now we can pop it open! Yes, we've been to the straight key, so what's up with you this place? Oh, I don't like the looks of that one bit. What's down here? Okay. So I've got an elevator. File scan complete. Scan results incomplete. Body has been heavily damaged by exposure to unknown chemicals and will be able to determine cause of death. File scan complete. Target corpse been have taking heavy chemical damage. Some similarly digestive foods found several creatures. Some may have tried to eat the corpse was unable to finish. And the elevator is online now. But I get the feeling we shouldn't be coming. Let's see where that other door went. Okay. Here we are. Oh, Grand Floor. It knows we're here. Space is torn asunder, revealing dimensional rifts to a dark place. Horrible dark swarms streak forth from these rifts, engulfing nearby creatures and transforming into what we would come to call Darklings. The dark creatures became our enemies, and peace came to an end on Eve. Okay. So, what's up with this place? Okay. 
Fast scan complete. Exposure radiation from within this tree. Several parts of the tree begin to rot due to exposure to phase on dentium. Okay, what's going on here? Laser gate. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. And here come the pirates. Oh, this is ugly already. Wait, what the heck? Fire commandos. Elite space powered shock troop. Well armed and armored, dangerous aim range, only you use shield repels most attacks. Decade to hunting the hunter, space powered commando units have been equipped with the latest weapons, including a variable pulse can, e grenade launcher, and energy set. Powerful thrusters carry the high speed over any terrain. Horrible barrier show repels most attacks, but going to be applied for the new period. Well, the phase on got him pretty hard. There. Barriers down, but they come from a higher level of terrain. I have no way up there. That half pipe, though. Ominous. Okay, what's up with this? Dorky. I saw something over there, but I don't think that's the case. Yeah, there was definitely a flowing platform, but it's not my ability to reach. Here we go. And we're in. This place looks quite different. Not that it matters much, we need to keep that yeah, move on. What the heck is that? <coughs> Huntering, elite warriors of the Ing Horde. Facing shapeshifter, deadly in close combat, dislikes bright light. The Hunter Ing patrol the lands with dark ether in search of the Horde's enemies. They can render their bodies intangible, allowing them to ambush their targets with ease. Hunter Ink can degenerate long, deadly tentacles, which they use to great effect in battle. Cutting and relentless, the Hunter Ink will seize their prey or die. Okay. Bye! That's what you get for getting too, too close to a light field. Okay. Yeah, I think you missed me. And it just flew right up to the field and died again. <laughs> Let's return the field to normal. Still, how are we supposed to get up? Okay. Has to be some way to words. Oh, I see it now. There we are. No further. <coughs> All right, this way. Yeah, that looks pretty one way. 
or I'm just being crazy. All right, let's carry on. Huh. Oh, look what we have here, a safe station. Yeah, I needed that missile. So, let's take a chill pill here. Tomorrow, we explore Dark, e Dark Torvus Bog some more, but the way things are going, this sucks already. Gonna have to look forward to facing that thing in combat. You'll know what I mean real soon. Until then, this is the 5th Eye Gamer signing off.